Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out some very cool battles in the Open Ultra League featuring an XL Shadow Galvantula. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, Galvantula is already an extremely attack weighted Pokemon, so adding the Shadow onto it, and this thing can output a tremendous amount of damage, but can't really take a hit whatsoever. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out XL's Shadow Galvantula in action in the Ultra League. Hopping to the first match, picking up a pretty nice lead Shadow Galvantula into Walrein. Walrein, of course, will be able to outpace Galvantula in this matchup, but Galv can pretty safely commit a shield and then grab shields back with the threat of a discharge. Opponent save switches into Swampert, and we see an immediate lunge fired off by the Galv. This will hit for some solid neutral damage, Galv farming up, and we see a beautiful switch, catching the Hydro Cannon onto the Shadow Gyarados. Gyarados can now try and go for an aggressive farm down. Gyarados will be hit with quite a few Hydro Cannons, but especially thanks to that Lunge debuff, three Hydro Cannons are not going to be enough to KO here. Gyarados continues to farm, they make one final Hydro Cannon, and again we are going to see the no shield from the Gyarados. Gyarados will be able to tank it, and leave with a Crunch loaded to threaten the Wall Rain. In comes the Wall Rain, Shadow Gyarados firing off the Crunch. This Crunch is going to be no shielded by the Wall Rain. Gyarados unfortunately cannot make it to the next move. In comes Galvantula. Unfortunately, Galvantula did get the one turn bring in, which is preventing Gal from getting a sneak there. Opponent staying in. Looks like they're weak in the back to Galvantula, and they are. They have an armored Mewtwo in the back. It's about to get double debuffed with Lunge. Lunge gets the shield. Shadow Galvantula going for Lunge number two here. They are now two stages debuffed and can never reset that debuff. Galv trying to make it to a third, just gets KO'd. But Shadow Gliscor should still be in a very nice position to close out this match. Armor Mewtwo has some energy here, but as you can see, that energy is not going to do a lot of damage because the Armor Mewtwo has been double debuffed by Lunge. Side Strike number two is going to land. Gliscor firing off a Night Slash into the Armor Mewtwo. Armor Mewtwo is a pretty tanky mon, but Shadow Gliscor does hit very hard. Makes it to Night Slash number two. This will be taking care of the Armor Mewtwo and securing the win. Moving into the next match, leading Shadow Gavantula into Cresselia. This will be a very interesting test of just how much damage this Shadow Gavantula can do, because Cresselia is, of course, one of the tankiest Pokemon in the Ultra League. Lunge is going to land, and that does over half of Cress's HP. Oh my goodness. Galv commits the shield, gets baited with a Grass Nut. That is unfortunate, but Galv is going to be able to fire off Lunge number two here. Opponent forced the shield or they would be KO'd. And now Galv can pretty safely no shield. Even if they do full send the Moon Blast, which they do, that is going to be double debuffed. Galv continuing to farm. Opponent is able to make it to another move. Galv lets it go. It is just the Grass Nut. Galv able to hang on, farm up to the back-to-back -back lunges. And now Shadow Gavantula will be able to win switch here. Opponent is going to let that through. They're going to send in Talonflame. Talonflame unfortunately was met with a blind lunge. Opponent commits the shield though. That's huge. In comes the Shadow Gyarados. Shadow Gyarados will barely be outpaced since the opponent did start with an incinerate lead. They go straight for the Brave Bird. Opponent is going to send in Drifblim. Drifblim, not necessarily the Pokemon that you're hoping to see if you have a Gliscor in the back, as Icy Wind will absolutely shred. Aggressive switch into the Gliscor. Opponent went for the Shadow Ball. What a beautiful catch. Gliscor continuing to farm, gets the farm down. In comes Talonflame. Talonflame going to need a lot of energy here to get rid of the Gliscor, and on top of that, get rid of the Gyarados as well. And this Shadow Gliscor is just so spammy, firing off Night Slash after Night Slash. That gets them low. Opponent tries to farm down, and Shadow Gliscor says no. Makes it to the Night Slash. KOs the Talonflame, and that's a good game. Picking up a pretty nice lead in the next match. XL Shadow Galve into Togahiss. Opponent is going to save switch into Kanto Muck, and Kanto Muck is not going to have a good day once it sees there's a Shadow Gliscor to meet it. Gliscor is going to have an even better day now that this Muck is running Acid Spray instead of Dark Pulse. So this Muck is fully walled by Gliscor's moveset. They're going to fire off the Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch, even after the Acid Spray, does not do a lot of damage. Gliscor going to farm up to 100 and full send the 
Earthquake here. Earthquake does get shielded. Opponent looking to make a play for Switch. This Night Slash is not going to KO, but it will be getting that Muck low. We do not see a boost come through. Oh, Gliscor is going to let this through. Muck goes for another Acid Spray. Everything going wrong for the opponent, as now they have to give up both shields or Switch advantage. Night Slash is going to KO. Opponent gives up Switch. And they're down a shield. They're going to send in Obstagoon. Obstagoon will be met with Shadow Gyarados. Now, Shadow Gyarados will be able to apply some nice pressure here onto the Obstagoon. And on top of that, resist the counters as well. Gyarados farming up energy here. Going to fire off the Aqua Tail on the CMP tie with the Obstagoon. Aqua Tail is going to land. Do you save both shields here for the Galve? We do not. We are going to see a shield used by the Gyarados. Obstagoon gets the boost. That is not what you're hoping to see. Gyarados fires off this Aqua Tail again on the CMP tie. Aqua Tail is going to KO. Aggressive switch into Shadow Galve. Galve going for a lunge bait. Oh my goodness. This is risky. Lunge gets no shielded by the opponent. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Gonna fire off another lunge. This one should be getting a shield from the opponent. But my goodness, the bravery of the opponent to call the bait. In comes Shadow Gyarados. Gyarados has to get to the Aqua Tail, which it does. And against all odds, Gyarados survives and gets the win. We've got Spice in the next match. XL Shadow Galve into Galarian Moltres. Opponent save switches into Buzzwool, and bad news awaits that Buzzwool as in comes Gliscor, and these wing attacks are tearing the Buzzwool to shreds. Buzzwool is going to be able to debuff the Gliscor multiple times. Gliscor's energy is already not very useful against the Moltres, and on top of that, now it's going to be double debuffed. So there's really nothing the Gliscor can do to that Moltres. Opponent is going to wait their clock here. They're going to be sending back Back in the Moltres, and Moltres will be met with the Night Slash. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, this is basically going to do no damage, but could potentially use this opportunity to burn the Switch Clock and send back in the Galve. And that's exactly what it's going to do. Back in comes the Galve, going straight for the Discharge here, hoping the opponent tries to call a lunge. They commit the shield. Galve farming up energy here. So is the Moltres. Galve, unfortunately, will be hit with a move. We see the immediate shield come up. Opponent full sends the Brave Bird in the back we see another armor Mewtwo and this armor Mewtwo is going to be torn to shreds by lunges Galve makes it to another lunge no shields remaining for the armor Mewtwo lunge massive damage onto the Mewtwo Mewtwo is going to get the farm down in comes Gliscor and Gliscor wins CMP so Mewtwo doesn't even get to use its energy as Night Slash KOs in comes the Moltres Moltres will be met with the Shadow Gyarados we see the shield being used. Opponent is running double nuke Moltres. They get farmed down, and that's a good game. Moving into the next match, leading XL Shadow Galve into another Cresselia. Opponent save switches into Ampharos. Galve gonna stay in and fire off the lunge. Now this is only neutral damage, but it will hit for some big damage onto the Ampharos, and in comes the Gliscord to absorb that damage. Opponent fires off the Brutal Swing. That just does not do a lot of damage. Opponent can fire off at least one more Brutal Swing, and you see Gliscord just doesn't have to care. Opponent goes for a Thunder Punch. You definitely do want to go for Brutal Swing in this matchup, as it is going to be neutral. All right, going to be firing off this Night Slash. Night Slash is going to KO. Opponent get a send in the Cresselia, but Cresselia is not going to have a good day with all these Night Slashes banked. Continuing to farm, firing off Night Slash after Night Slash in this matchup. Going for another Night Slash. That is going to land Cresselia. Now below half health. Crest is going to be forced to fire off a move. We see the immediate no shield from Gliscor. They go for the Moon Blast, and down goes Gliscor. In the back, the opponent has Swampert. And we see a very nice switch and a catch of the Hydro Cannon onto Shadow Gyarados. Shadow Gyarados in an incredibly good position here. There's just not a whole lot that Swampert can do. Swampert fires out the Hydro that will get the Gyarados low. But the important thing is that with Mudshot, Gyarados is never getting farmed down by the Swampert. Aqua Tail is going to get the shield. Opponent continues to farm. They're going to fire off a Hydro. We do see a shield from the Gyarados. Gyarados very close to the Aqua Tail. And now Gyarados able to make it to the Aqua Tail, putting pressure on that final shield. Opponent is going to commit the shield here. Gyarados continuing to farm up. Opponent sends in that Cresselia. But all he has to do is bank the Aqua Tail, send in Galve. Lunge will get rid of the Cresselia, and this game is over. You don't need the XL Galve at this point. You can just let it through. Hydro Cannon will KO. 
but it's not gonna matter. Shadow Gyarados banked the Aqua Tail. That KOs the Swampert and gets the win. Tough lead in the next match, Shadow Galve into Giratina. We're gonna see an immediate save switch into Shadow Gliscor. Opponent is going to respond with a Swampert. This is honestly not a terrible spot to be in because in the Ultra League, Shadow Gliscor can live a Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon lands, Mudshot is not gonna do a lot of fast move pressure. So Gliscor, if it can land this Earthquake, which it does, can make a play for switch advantage. And switch would be big as that would put the Shadow Gyarados on the Giratina instead of the Galve. Hydro Cannon does get shielded, gets the farm down and leaves with energy to threaten the Giratina, but the opponent makes a great read and they send in their final Pokemon, which is Talonflame, to absorb the damage. Unfortunately, Galv does not have a lot of play against this team, so we see an aggressive switch into the Galv, basically just looking to get whatever value you can out of it. Opponent fires off the Dragon Claw, that deals a lot of damage. As I mentioned, Shadow Galv hits very hard, but that comes at a price of being very glassy. Opponent does not want to take any more damage from the Galv. They're going to fire off a Dragon Claw here. Dragon Claw is going to KO, and he's going to need this Shadow Gyarados to put in a lot of work in the endgame. Gyarados farming up. Giratina is going to fire off a Dragon Claw. Gyarados lets that through. Gyarados continuing to farm. They make it to another Dragon Claw, and again, we're going to see a No Shield. So basically just putting his faith in the fact that the Talonflame is not going to be able to farm down. Already has two Aqua Tails. Can Gyarados make a third? Firing off the first Aqua Tail, that's going to get the shield. Opponent will fire off a move. They're just going to go for the Flame Charge here, trying to buff up the Incinerate damage more and more and more. All right, going to fire off Aqua Tail number two into the Talonflame. Talonflame commits the shield. Aggressive switch into the Gliscor, hoping that this is going to be enough to KO. Night Slash onto the Talonflame. It is not, and the Talonflame gets the win. We've got some spice in the next match. Shadow Galve into Buzzwool. Gal farming up energy versus the Buzzwool switches into the Gliscor, and the Buzzwool actually throws energy. That is kind of nice. They fire off the lunge, that's gonna debuff the Gliscor, and then they're gonna send in a Gust Pidgeot. Gust Pidgeot is honestly a bit scary for this team, as Gust does a lot of fast move pressure, and this is a team made entirely of shadows. Gliscor is gonna fire off another Night Slash here. Night Slash is gonna land, unfortunately due to the debuff, really does not do a lot of damage. Firing off yet another Night Slash here. This Night Slash is gonna land onto the Pidgeot. Pidgeot is able to get the farm down and Pidgeot leaves with so much energy, but Galve wins CMP. Firing off the Lunge into the Pidgeot. Lunge gets the shield and now, do you call a bait? Oh my goodness, calls it. It's the Feather Dance, what a play. Unfortunately, they have the back-to-back -back moves loaded here, calling another Feather Dance. Unfortunately, this attack not doing a lot of damage. Banks a move for later. Snipes with the Gyarados. We'll have to see what they have in the back. They have Regirock, and Regirock can often put up a fight against Gyarados, but not when it's down two shields to zero. Able to land the Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail does a lot of damage from Shadow Gyarados. They fire off the Stone Edge. Gyarados continuing to farm. Opponent sends in Buzzwool, and Buzzwool will be met with an Aqua Tail as well. This Aqua Tail is gonna get the Buzzwool low. Buzzwool not able to make it to a move. And at this point, this game is over. The opponent reaches a last second Stone Edge. We see the no shield from the Gyarados. He wants the Shadow Galv to finish the fight. Galv banked the discharge for later. This will be big overkill, KOing the Regirock. And that is a good game. Hopping into the final match, leading Shadow Galve into Obstagoon. Opponent is gonna save switch into a Lolan Muck. Gonna stay in with the Galve and fire off the lunge. Now this is only neutral, but this will do some substantial damage onto the Muck. Continuing to farm and an aggressive switch into the Gliscor. Now Gliscor can pretty safely wing attack all the way down as two debuff Dark Pulses are not going to be enough to KO. Opponent reaches Dark Pulse number two, but Shadow Gliscor just simply does not care. Tanks the Dark Pulse opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match and now some final thoughts on XL Shadow Galvantula first off much like the Great League Shadow Galv 
XL Shadow Galv can output a tremendous amount of damage, even going up against the bulkiest mons that the Ultra League has to offer. However, being that it is an XL Shadow Pokemon, it does come with an exceedingly hefty price tag for the Ultra League, which is definitely something to weigh when considering whether to use it. So while it does look like an incredibly fun mon, the absolute zero bulk whatsoever, combined with a very hefty price tag in terms of Stardust, means that if you can build it, you'll probably get some utility out of it, but odds are there's probably going to be some safer options. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.